Alright, hi y'all. I'm Andy. I use they, them, their pronouns. I've got a host of poems for us today. I'm going to start by reading two of them. Um, I never name my poems. It's just not a thing I do. Can everyone hear me okay or do you want me to use the mic? Okay, awesome. Thank you. So, for my first poem, I want you guys to like know it's okay to laugh. Sometimes I say funny things. Sometimes I don't. So just feel free to laugh, feel free to like whatever, it's all good. So this first poem, I just want to give everyone a trigger warning that there is some homophobia and some homophobic slurs. <coughs> all right? The first time somebody asked me if I was a lesbian. We were catching balls before the big softball game. My father was the coach, so we were always there early. 13-year-old me thought she knew the answer so surely. Softball is about one of the gayest sports you could ever play. It's a testament to getting down and dirty with the girls. Watch the homosocial scene as it unfurls. The eye fucking that goes on between the pitcher and the batter as she bows down with the pitch before she whips it out at the ladder. By the time you run into third base, you are bruised all over and drunk on adrenaline like you aren't sober. The sprint to home plate is really just a sweaty competition to see who comes first. And usually, and usually you come at just the same time. So I looked these girls gay in the eye, and I said, I am not a lesbian. I am an Armenian. Go ask my dad. It runs on his side of the family. <laughs> the last time somebody called me a lesbian, well, well, no. They didn't even bother to finish the word, fucking lesbo. It's like they realized I was listening halfway through the word, even though I had already heard. You know that girl in the dorm next door? She's a fucking lesbo. Oh. You know, like they were 12-year-old boys on RuneScape mad that I wouldn't show them my boobies, as if they were trying to avoid Club Penguin censors by spelling it with two giant zeros, as if any of this was going to move me. Like, had they ever heard the word dyke before? Like, if you're going to insult me, at least use the right slur. Say that I like riding my dicycle through the streets and in my sheets. Say that I like to roll the dikes every once in a while because I've never been a gambler, but my gaydar is always snake eyes. Say that I like licking my dicycles on a long summer's day after a long romantic walk on the beach. Call me a bull dyke like you could ever keep this on a leash. But like the anthem of my middle school career, I am not a lesbian, I am a queer. Not queer as in gay, but queer as in fuck you but also queer as in gay, as in, I'll probably fuck you? We are the liberated gays who are mad and are happy about it, who never found their way into their straight person fit. We have transgressed the gendered and the sexed. I have more friends who would rather unearth guttural sounds from their very bodies than to commit to the words boy or girl. So, so gender role play me up, I'll be the plain blanket, pink blanket, and you can be the blue car. We can make like sexuality's fluid and ride it so far. We drink rainbows from flasks, and when anyone asks, are you a lesbian? We say, go ask my dad. <laughs>